Peace, God, to all my great and amazing people out there, man. We got to address this, man. Chicago, man. Young girl, seven-year-old, get lit on fire. Six shots at the McDonald's, man. Utterly ridiculous. It's a damn shame, to be honest, man. For somebody to shoot a kid like that. I mean, it just show you the cold-hearted, dark place that the community is in when uh, somebody shoots a young girl, seven-year-old, and leave her like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's utterly ridiculous, man. But Chicago has been known for the, the recklessness and the killing and the shootings and things of that nature. I'm pretty for sure somebody probably seen that car somewhere and they pay, may have had some active issues with somebody in a neighborhood or whatever. It's just sad that young uh, kid had to lose their life like that, man. That's why I always tell people, man, you really got to let people know how much you love them now. You know what I'm saying? And really should give love and, and give honor now. Don't be afraid to let people know how, how much you care about them. And I think a lot of times in life I see this, man, where people just be nonchalant about everything. You know what I mean? Never wanting to actually communicate or... You know what I mean? Even family members, man. I see sometimes family members won't speak to you, won't say nothing to you. You know what I mean? They'll see you on your deathbed. You know what I mean? Like I say, this, this I don't know, man. It's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. My prayers go out to the family that's, that's going through this um, situation, man. But the gun violence in Chicago is, is reckless and out of control. It's the same thing with multiple other cities that's dealing with these type of brutalities and fatalities within the community man it's nothing but hatred on top of hate and a bunch of dark like a dark a lot of dark souls out here man i'm just I, I, i'm quite honest and being as truthful as i possibly can can be about this situation i'm beyond the levels of tired of seeing these type of accidents happen or situations happen you know what i mean where, where innocent kids are getting harmed and uh, the elderly is getting harmed and things of that nature. Kid is rapping in they, they home and bullets getting flying through they, they, they house and they no longer here and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I say, man, I, I'm getting to a place spiritually, man. I, I don't even like to condone those type of activities at all. Like, it's just, it's becoming very uh, child uh, childish and just beyond stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who's done that, you, you actually going to say you're proud of yourself for doing something like that? You know what I'm saying? And, and busting shots at somebody with kids in the car? Like, man, that don't make you no gangster. That make you one of the biggest cowards in the world, man. Like that, that, that was very, very cold-hearted and dark. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. Like, how much of this foolishness got to keep going on in the community, man? Like I said before, when stuff like this happens, it's hard to bring peace. But at least at, at, on one side of the spectrum, you just got to get these people. Man, they, they I don't know, man. I, I'm just not with it, bro. Like I, I, All these type of situations happen, man. I, I just don't rock with it, bro. And it's like it's never just peace. You know what I'm saying? You walk your way, I walk my way. Why everything got to end in gunfighting? You know what I'm saying? And, and somebody dying or losing their life in these unfortunate predicaments and situations, man. It's like it's... It's, it's, it's ridiculous to me, man. That is sad. That's like me. I got a daughter, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Somebody do something crazy like that, man. It's cold-hearted as hell, bro. One thing, you're looking for the guy, which I even don't agree with black-on-black -black crime. So a, a, a young kid, though, a young kid, though, they're going to put that individual under the jail. And I don't think nobody's going to miss him. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. Nobody's going to miss a person that killed a seven-year-old girl. What you going to say? was an accident? It wasn't an accident. It's all purposely. You know what I'm saying? Because who just busts at a car not knowing who inside of it? You know what I'm saying? And that, like I said, that's purposely. You purposely did that. Come on, man. This, this, shit, this shit is fucking disgusting and just nasty, bro. Like, come on, G. Like, and like I said, niggas ain't holding this shit accountable. Niggas are supposed to be getting disciplined for this shit. This ain't supposed to be no, oh, yeah, we're going to just, that's cool, bro. Like, I don't know, man. It's a lot of fuck nigga shit out here, man. Seven-year-old girl, my nigga. A lot of fuck shit out here, man. That's some fuck shit to do that, man. Some real fuck shit to do that to a little baby girl, man. Sad as hell, bro. Sad as hell, man. I'm more of the pain for all the families. The family that's connected to this, that's, they got to go through this shit. But the person that did it, ain't nobody going to feel no sympathy for that person, man. Shit was fucked up. Like, all the way fucked up. Straight up, bro. That that shit that shit was fucked up. 
I'm out of here, man. Peace, God.